Good. <laughs> Meh. Good butt fuck 30 morning, everyone. Uh, I think I've been up since like 2 ish. It's like almost 4 30 ish. That's a m. <laughs> uh, Chris has got to get up in about a half hour to go pick up a friend of ours to bring him to work because their car isn't ready yet. So, anyway, first clip. Yikes, it's 4.30 in the morning. But, maybe we'll get to do something today. Alright, see you later on in the day. It's also 4.30 in the morning, and I want ice cream. So he went to go get me, he went to the kitchen to get me a drumstick ice cream cone. <laughs> vanilla fudge. It's vanilla fudge. fudge. I, got, I got to show them my fudge. eyes. Fudge. It's 4.30 in the morning. Hey, yeah, I don't think going in your pajamas and your boxer shorts would be a good thing. Anyway, so I'm going to eat my ice cream. How does she know I have an ice cream? She was way the hell down there. She was yeah. snoring. That's how much asleep she was. Look at those eyes. <laughs> but I swear to God, the, the dog is food psychic. Good morning. Yeah. <clears throat> so, we're on a quest. And if I'm not in the frame, I apologize. It's bright. And although I have sunglasses... Oh, there I am. And although I have sunglasses on, I still can't see the screen because it's bright. Anyway, oh yeah, gonna turn my Donna off. Yeah. Uh, actually, you have to turn it down. Uh, where'd it go? Okay, there I am. Anyway, <clears throat> so, the doctor's office called on Friday, said that the prescription had been sent to the hospital here in town. And I'll explain that in a minute. So. Don't forget water. Anyway. So. I was like, okay. And they said he couldn't pick it up until today. That she would fill it on Friday, but he couldn't have it until Monday. So. We. We. Wait all weekend, you know. He called yesterday. The pharmacy was open at the hospital for, like, really weird hours. So, he calls, and they're like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can actually pick it up now. It's, like, $3 and blank amount of change. And we were like, oh, we didn't have $3 and blank amount of change. Uh, we always have more month than money, it seems. Yeah, the government says we're supposed to live on this income that they provide us. Anybody lives on this stuff unless they own their own home, etc., etc., etc. So, oh, kind of chilly. Uh, so this morning he gets up at eight o'clock when the hospital pharmacy opens, and they don't have the prescription. My prescriptions can be sent electronically. And remember, I get morphine and oxymorphone. And <clears throat> his prescription is for Percocet. His, prescri his prescription is a controlled substance. So is mine. But that I don't have to pay. So is mine. They never say, oh, we need to see your ID or anything like that. Or we need the paper copy. So, <clears throat> I called. <clears throat> I called the doctor's office. Left a message there. I get a phone call. Mm, about 20 minutes later. It's ready to be picked up. The, the paper prescription is ready to be picked up at the doctor's office. So, we have to go from our home at exit 82 to exit 108 to get the paper prescription. Then we have to come all the way back to town and take it to the hospital. Here's why we have to take it to the hospital. 
Chris's social security changed again. <clears throat> he was getting it on the last Wednesday of the month. And he didn't have to pay prescriptions. Everything was still covered by Provider 1, which is Washington State Medicare, Medicaid. Provider 1, which is Washington State's Medicaid. Well, he gets a letter a couple of weeks later that says that, oh, well, you know, you know, we're going to cover your, your premium or whatever the hell it is. And then he gets another letter saying that he's going to be on a specific plan like I am through, through Social Security for a prescription. And then his payment date and everything changed. So no longer is he getting it on the, the last Wednesday of the month. Now he's also, he's actually going to get it on the third, the same thing. I get mine. Well, that means that his prescription insurance doesn't kick in until November. This man is a diabetic and has to have, I apologize, the sun's out. I don't apologize for the sun being out. I apologize for the glare. <laughs> um, he's a diabetic, an insulin, an insulin dependent diabetic who is in extreme, extreme pain. And I really wish I drove because I could have taken care of this myself, but it's okay. That's kind of why I came along. So we're going to take the prescription to the hospital and see if the hospital can fill it for him and either it be deferred until the 11, you know, till November or something because he's got to have the pain medication if nothing else. There, are day, there have been days this week that I just want to, you know, knock him out with a hammer just so he could sleep through the pain. Um, he goes for, I'll have to call for her and note to self. I did, did call it already. But I was going to tell you that. Okay. Yeah. Note to self. Schedule CT for Chris. Yeah. So, this is our adventure today. I have to go all the way to 107, no, 108 pick up the prescription, come all the way back to exit 76, where the Walmart, oh, actually, exit 81. We have to go all the way to exit 107, 108. I keep doing that. And then we have to come all the way back to exit 81 and see if the hospital can do its magic. If not, we have to take it to the Walmart at exit 76, and go from there. If we go through Walmart, the prescription runs about 50 bucks. And we ain't got 50 bucks. That's some broke motherfuckers. Yep. With some, uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> More month than money. You know, note rant earlier about Social Security benefits and the cost of living. And, yeah. So, I will continue to update you guys on how this adventure goes. So, I'll see you in the next clip. We decided to stop. I know this grace really in it. At the Hobby Lobby, okay? At Hobby Lobby. This Hobby Lobby is never this busy, okay? We have handicapped plates. We always have a place to park in the front. What in the world is Hobby Lobby giving away? One spot here. I mean, look. This place is a jam bag for Hobby Lobby. These are just three of the trees in our path from our home to the hospital. I'm hoping to get out and get a few more really good shots of really beautiful trees in their magical time of year. Med retrieval successful. I'm glad we don't have smello cameras because the bus in front of us or this truck right here, somebody got bad gas. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, the pharmacy, it was 20, not even 20 minutes. Yeah. 
and between that and the steroid pack, right around six bucks for his pain medication and a steroid pack. When we had to get them at Walmart, uh, I think they're like 412 Percocets was like $48, and he just got the same thing at the hospital through the hospital, you know, patient pharmacy. He just got the same thing, both medications, six dollars and thirty-eight cents. Yep. So now he's gonna go home. And he's gonna sleep today. Well, he's gonna feed the dogs. Then he's gonna go to sleep. And uh, I might go to sleep. I don't know. I've been up since probably two o'clock. Uh, decided to have ice cream at like four thirty, <laughs> and I had egg rolls for breakfast. <laughs> I'm doing good today. Anyway. So, I will see you in the next clip, be it upstairs cutting fabric or time for bed. So, thanks guys. It's pronounced Peretti. seconds he would go no it wouldn't go wolf every couple of minutes he'd go <laughs> but like I said I'm crying oh my god <laughs> just, just as soon as I turn the camera on like Sam he stops oh you brat <laughs> I the camera. shut that up Tyson <laughs> this is doing it too. <laughs> like, like my father, like son. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to go to question with Spa. <laughs> oh, poor oh, thing, no, he's. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, they said the steroids might do that, <laughs> but it's still funny as hell. Okay, so it's pointed at Chris because you ain't no telling what he's gonna do next. He just sat up drank water in his sleep and laid back down. I asked him if he was awake. Nothing. Christy said his eyes were even still closed. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Hubs, I'm sorry, but you're making the vlog just, it's funny. Okay? I'm sorry. I love you, but it's funny as hell. Hi guys. I didn't go upstairs. Just been down here working on a project a digital project that I hope will be up on my Facebook page in the next couple of days and you can find the link to my Facebook page in the down bar so that's it for today's vlog I live a boring life so be good stay out of trouble don't do anything I wouldn't do and see you tomorrow bye guys Hi guys, I really do appreciate your stopping by my channel.
please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe because you never know what I'm going to put up next.